Hey all and welcome back for another Hellfire Commons Patreon Quick Look. Today we are taking a look at Ace Combat 7 for the PlayStation 4. This was commissioned by Demos, and uh, I think this might be my first time ever trying like a non-demo, like flying type game, so this should be fun. I'm going to play Standard, and hopefully it will give me a tutorial. Yeah, I don't think we're, we're not playing experts here. There's people who go deep diving into that. Nah, we just want, we just want flying around shooty stuff. Oh, there is a main menu and whatnot. That's good, because we were worried it would just, like, kick us straight into the game and whatnot. What is it installing, exactly? Uh, ooh, is this what- I haven't seen game installation in forever. Ah, uh, cutscene subtitles on by default. Bless you, blessed game. Usually Japanese games are good for that, at least. Some aircraft customizations have been changed to their defaults because the game is still being installed. Certain aircraft are also unavailable. That's fine. I wasn't going to use a custom thing anyway. Yeah, we weren't going to put Pac-Man on our on our jet plane, which you can do. Um, hmm. Da -da -da -da. Well, considering it's as easy as for those who are new to Ace Combat, I think that's the one we should go for. Reduce the damage from contact with terrain under certain conditions. Uh, okay. I like the fact you can change difficulty at any time. I've never been a fan of being locked in, unless it's like story specific and whatnot, and then in which case, lock it down. Lock it all down! So, are you aware of the universe of Ace Combat? No, I'm more familiar with the universe of Pilot Wings, I'm gonna be honest. So, I, I, I myself have not played it, but I've heard a lot about it. This takes place in a universe called The Strange Reel being a universe that tries to be realistic, but at the same time is very... weird? Um, it has a tone that I can only describe as Japan trying to be serious but failing. Okay, right, so a little bit of camp in there, like Yakuza, maybe. You know what, Yakuza, I would argue, is also strange real. The dark blue of the stratosphere. Nothing. By the way, guys, there's a, a new Yakuza game coming out soonish, I believe, called Judgment Eyes, with only one E in the word Judgment. If you want to see that, feel free to commission it. Or just Judge Eyes in the West. It's Judgment. It's Judgment in Japan, Judge Eyes in the West. Confusing. Oh, okay. Wait, no, I got it wrong. Judgment in the West, Judge Eyes in Japan. You muppet! Look at these planes as seen from above. Are, are these just pictures of planes? Or are these in-game? I can't actually tell. Our graphics so good that we can't tell what's 2D and what's 3D anymore? Gramps was really good friends with the super there, so he got to- Just drink in this nonsense about people loving planes and whatnot. I love them so much. They're so fucking great. I wish we could all just become planes. Please don't look up plane morphing on Google. No. Do not. They taught me their skills the worst. some dirty jokes. But with their aging eyeballs and whatnot, I ended up having to do most of the work myself. So what's your take when it comes to uh, flying type games, mate? Do you prefer arcadey stuff, or do you prefer more like sim-based gameplay? I will always go to pretty much for everything sim type. Um, or sorry, no, arcadey. Uh, the problem with sim types for me is that they usually try to go so expertly crafted that they stop being fun, right? Like I had um, Microsoft Flight Simulator as a kid, and it's like, oh man, I get to fly these planes, and then you learn that in real life, flying a plane is pretty much choosing a destination, and that's it, right? You know, it takes off, it lands, that's it, and you're like, wow, that's really boring. Versus here, where you're going to be dogfighting, and there'll be, like, rock music blaring, and DC Douglas will be there, and he'll be, mm, Chris, you know, all that good stuff. Um, it's, it's, yeah, no, I think at the end of the day, you need that arcade sort of style. Then, finally. Are we going to transition into our first mission here? Because that would be pretty lit. I love when it flows from story to gameplay. I think so. It's, 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 we're playing here as, uh... Let's see, what's her name? I have the list of the voice actors here. Um, her name is uh, Avril Mead, voiced by Abby Trot. Okay. Abby Trot, known for anime, like everyone here. She was Surfer Girl in One Punch Man. Oh, I see. I think I know which character you're talking about as well. Oh, she's also Maya Faye in Phoenix Wright. Huh, there you go. Okay, now that we've confirmed these are actual graphics, this game is actually beautiful. It is, yeah. Oh no! 
Am I stalling? No. It's the plane that's wrong. Yeah, I don't know about going straight up through the clouds. I think that will destroy your innards. I don't know, I'm not the plane expert here, but... Shh, baby, it's fine. I could almost touch it. Then I saw Osea's fighters. And I wanted to be one. Look at them. Jesus. It's like some kid's paper airplane. So one actually really cool thing is um, they announced DLC for this game that are all a bunch of ships from like old um, Namco Bandai shoot 'em up games. Oh, that's lovely. And you can get like options and like lasers and like it looks like and they're rendered in this realistic style, but they're these stupid like old school like side scrolling shooter ships. They're the best. Oh, jeez. Nice. We were talking about, like, smash cuts into uh, title screens and whatnot, weren't we? Charge Assault. That's a good title. That's a good mission one. Is everyone here? I'm kind of, like, free-falling right now, Sarge. I said settle down. Alright, then again, still free-falling. You have all been instrumental <laughs> Settle down. I can't, I'm free-falling. This is all gonna go way over my head. It's kind of like the story of Resident Evil, although that has compelling characters to keep it going. The whole thing about this universe is that, like, they they make up these fake countries to sort of be like, oh yeah, these are all these fake countries, but it's so obvious which ones they're all meant to represent that it's like, what's even the point? It's so blatant who's Japan and who's who's America. Like, why are you even trying? Shall we gun them down, sir? Yes, but not until I have done my speech. It's just, it's so weird that these, what come down to flight sim games, because these ones are very going for the realism, I mean, aside from the story, uh, have this story of deep political drama with, like, crazy, you know, countries going at each other, and it's, it's weird to think about. When I first heard that there's a story, I was like, is there anything else out there that is under the guise of a sim, but is actually anime? I have no answer. Unfortunately, I lack the wisdom necessary to. Oh no, no, that was that was a question to send out to the ether because I don't I don't think anyone knows. It's like what what is there? Okay, yes, there is a clown though. <laughs> Kill him for his Twitter opinions. <laughs> I'll just keep pressing X until I'm ready. Yeah, let's start the mission. I've been owned already. Ooh, the Fighting Falcon. That's a good name. I like that. Uh, we have the 4 a.m. because it fucking wakes you up is what it does. Hey, hey. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, I like that. Look at all these stats that we don't know what they mean. Wasn't I just in the sky? Now nah, you're in God's sky, son. I like the name Mage Squadron. Is this a universe where they use like RPG classes for each military squad? Because that's pretty dope. Like, the army is, like... Not, not mercenaries. They're the warriors. No, they're, they're the paladins is what they are. Oh, oh, no, see, but that's almost... That one I could actually see being in our world. You gotta go more. Gotta be, like, the Mystic Knights. Okay, I'll turn and I'll... <laughs> I was trying to avoid that. Let's scrabble them as fast as possible. They said Golem Squad, so it is RPG stuff. Okay, so they're just all named after Pokemon then. That's amazing. Oh, Jesus. How do I move? <laughs> what, you didn't take flight school? Come on, you should know. Okay, R2, just like every driving thing ever. Did you press X like uh, most Mario Kart players? I did, I absolutely did. I love how R2 is, like, among people who play most games. It's like the universal move forward in a vehicle thing, because it's like a, you know, a gas pedal. But anyone who's played Mario Kart first as a kid is like, well, X is how you go, go in a, in anything, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, do I have to keep holding down? I sure do. <laughs> you just the plane, you see the engine slowly stop. Accelerate and close in. Okay, well, it controls well so far, I can tell you that much. 
So I'm just reading at the side. Your gun is nothing. You have 70 MSL. I th oh, no, it's saying that, okay, your gun is right now the MSL and you have 70 shots of it. So I'm guessing you don't want to be using it too much. Uh, for that, once you see that, you're locked on. Yay, get fucked. Got him. Very nice. You've you've successfully killed a man. Yeah. Can I go home now, Sarge? Trigger, switch your radar. See if you can locate the enemy. Nope, there is more. Pressing the will change the radar. Oh, I see them. Sitting there all pretty, just waiting to be taken. This is a really nice looking game. Unfortunately, my capture card isn't the best. I really should upgrade my computer and get an Elgato one of these days, but it's pretty for a realistic sort of style. Yeah, even just art style-wise, you can tell it's going for the hyper-realism, but to a point where it's beautiful hyper-realism. Because there's different ways to do hyper-realistic. You can do hyper-real in the way that it's just how the world is, or you can beautify the world. Hmm. Damn, look at all this fun that I'm missing. There's TGT. I think he's our target. Hmm. Batteries towards ground, Ted. <sighs> Don't quit your day job, Tanner. <laughs> Sadly, my day job is pretty much improv all day. That's what being a teacher is. <laughs> uh -huh. I think you need to change it till he's flipping. Die, motherfucker! Boy, homing missiles sure are good in aerial combat, because what can you do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, it does say that you have flares, so I'm assuming that if you you are targeted by those, then you can shoot some flares, because that's, uh, that's how they get off of them in real life, I think? Oh, have we got missiles on our tail? Is he going to tell us what to actually do? Help? D did we avoid it? I don't know. Got to make sure you're targeting the uh, the target there. Okay, I'm changing my weapons. All right, and not close enough. That's just going to nowhere. It'll maybe find a target one day. Oh yeah. Mage two, target down. I like when uh, in in some games, if you don't, if you're not targeted on something and then target it, it'll be like, oh hey, you did eventually target someone, and then <laughs> just target you automatically. Mm-hmm. Metal Gear did that, where it's like, you didn't target anything. Well, now I am. Okay, move in to target it. Yay! Ooh, you got a multi, multi-shot one. That's the 4 a.m., because it wakes up four people. And four means death in Japan. I did everything here myself. What did you guys do? Were there, like, 10,000 of them before I got, like, to the hot zone, as it were? Oh man, imagine an ace combat Muso. Just like <laughs> hundreds of enemy planes all flying together and yours is just spinning around. Hmm. I think he's above you. Yeah. Coming out the clouds. You can't even see me, I'm so camouflaged. <laughs> it's like you run into the cloud and it's like, oh, we didn't tell you. In this world, clouds are solid. Oh no. Harsh turn. Damn, he is out flying me something fierce right now. Battery's like right. So it's weird because like you're you kind of have to be right by them, but at the same time, right by them for planes is still hundreds of feet away. Mhm. Mm nice music as well. Yeah, I do. I uh, remember hearing that the Ace Combat games have the best soundtrack for a game about flying in airplanes. God, is he in space? Where are you leading me? Yeah, it's a bit strange. It looks like... Where is it going? What is a MiG-21 anyways? I don't know. I'll just go towards this on the radar, I guess. Man, you know there's some military guys who are just like... Oh, this, all these acronyms are so good. I'm gonna give him the 4AM special. There, oh my god. Uh, there they are. Jesus. So, uh, one crazy thing with Ace Combat is there was Ace Combat on the 3DS there. I don't know the name of it, but it, uh, it had one there. And, uh, one thing about it was you could do Amiibo with it. 
and if you scanned in amiibo of certain characters, you would get plane decals of that amiibo. So imagine flying through the sky with, like, inklings on your airplane. It's wild. Booyah! I'm a good pilot flyer guy. We didn't even need to do one single day of flight school. We're just good to go. We're we're one of those chosen individuals. Roger that. Right. Right above an unhospitable island. Or whatever the word is. That's fine. I just see the word space elevator on top of the screen. That makes me very happy. You probably want to change your close range radar. Oh, jeez. Are they behind me now? And where is he? I'm flying blind! There's a warning! Oh god, they're there! Oh wow, he's way up there. Fox three. Fox three. In gun range. Yeah, you got him. Mage Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Easy mode. You know, that works in movies! That works in movies! You shoot them and then you fly through the wreckage and it looks cool? Guess it doesn't work in- in real life? I honestly didn't mean to do that, call me some slack. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh god, I just scraped him as well. I thought one missile would suffice. Right? It's- well, it look like- it, I mean, you see, you see a plane on fire and you think that's it, it's done. But, oh, that works in movies too. Oh, fine, we'll just stick with the, the 4 a.m., I guess. Expect the, worst and stay sharp. the only thing is, you only got uh, 16 of them there, so you want to conserve your ammo. Hmm, good point. That's what it means to so I'd probably stick with these ones until there's a... Because basically, your, your regular missile seems to be just a one-hit one, where your 4 a.m. will let you lock on to, like, four of them at once and fire it. So I would probably... Yeah, if you get a group, use your 4 a.m. Fire too to be safe, I suppose. And don't fly through the wreckage this I'm time. It makes me look cool. It's like, can you imagine if you're in flight school and and they're like, okay, what do you do when you when you shoot down an enemy flame plane? And you're like, well, obviously you fly through their burning wreckage. Yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> what are you talking about? This checkpoint was a ways away. Yeah, it seems like it. Oh well. If I'm not punished for stupidly clipping a plane and exploding, when will I be punished? So I'm sure you've seen the infamous dog PNG I meme have. from this game. Yes, yes. It's it's so do you, did you hear the extended story on it though? I have not. So apparently, one, that is actually one of the developer's dogs that they put into the game to be like, oh I love my dog, so they just put their dog into the game. But the crazy part is that it's not a PNG, it's actually a video of the dog on the green screen, but the dog just is such a good boy, he sits really still when he's asked. Aww. So it's like, no, he's he's moving there, but he's just just real slow. It's okay, I'm getting there. Slowly but surely. Target is locked, fuck him! Yeah! Very nice. I'm feeling like a patriot right now, Tana. <laughs> Just get- make sure you salute every time you kill an enemy. Make sure I clap when I blow up the enemy. Oh, there's the Sargas. Yeah, probably might want to switch to your 4am to get rid of both of them at once. Yeah. If they're close enough, I can't tell because, you know, in the sky everything looks closer. Yeah, don't worry. I've got it. Yeah! Boosh! Ooh, that's nice. Like happy festival fireworks, yo! Yeah? <laughs> Imagine you're like flying in a plane and all of a sudden you just hear Waka over the intercom. <laughs> They're going down to blow them up, yeah! Brother, uh, I know you're in a machina right now, but let me tell you, <laughs> this one blows them up real good, yeah? Waka, how are you contacting me right now? I'm on the wing, yeah! I'm not inside the machina, so I can't! <laughs> There's a walker on the wing. Shut the window. Ah, I'm inside a fucking cloud. Wow, that's actually the the rain effect looks dope. And I think you flew past the target. I went straight to him. 
Mage. Never mind, I went right past him. <laughs> Son of a bitch, I'll fly under the cloud then, I guess. Where are you, you motherfucker? Where are you? Oh, you're also inside the cloud. I don't want to chap your ass, Sarge. It's a good thing he said chap and not clap. <laughs> don't think that'd be allowed over uh, over military intercoms. Oh, Sarge, I'm dummy feck and they're avoiding all my <laughs> missiles. <laughs> well, this is the fucking Galapagos Islands. I like they try to destroy the turtles and whatnot. Yeah, it's. Can you imagine? It's like all this political drama, but they don't reveal why they're fighting it. At the very end, they're like, "Well, it's because all they want to do is kill every turtle there is." Oh, motherfuckers! Reveals that like your your team name is actually the Turtle Defense Force. Oh, that's you're amazing. Like, TDF, TDF. Come on, lock on. Yeah, see ya. So it says that if you break, you can turn easier. Okay, I didn't actually destroy him, so... Oh. He's one of those bomb-resistant planes. Yeah, there you go. Couple more. Yeah. <laughs> didn't destroy myself this time. Oh, so that's why they're called confirmed kills in the Navy meme, because you gotta wait till the big ol' enemy destroyed pops up. Okay, Tano. Okay, oh. Yep, it's time for the 4 a.m., lads. Let's wake up these boys. Just call me Sergeant Alarm Clock, am I right? See ya. And you got all but the one. Well. Now he's gone. All right. You're safe, little turtles. I've got to come in to greet you. <laughs> it's like, just, uh, it's like how, we gotta go save the turtles right now, slams a plane into the island. Yay, mission accomplished, and I only died once on the first thing on easy! Well, I mean, to be fair, this is your first time flying a plane. <sighs> okay. Don't try to be a hero. Don't run up to the turtles and blow up their island. I'm not gonna have to, like, land, am I? Oh god. Oh man, oh no. That's the one thing, Microsoft Flight Simulator, I've never landed a plane. Like, cause it's- landing the plane's the toughest part. Oh no, am I actually gonna have to know? Oops. That looks like, uh, Princess Luna Freya from Final Fantasy XV. Oh, she is a princess. It actually is a princess. Okay. Okay, I wouldn't I wouldn't exactly go down there just yet. I think you're in a cutscene. Bless him. <laughs> oh, and you get a replay. No, That's no, cool. I'm fine. I don't need to see myself blow up thanks to debris, thank you. <laughs> uh, okay, the term dogfight comes from the way pilots chase each other's tails. I didn't actually know that. That's actually really interesting. It is. I can see the multiplayer for this game being real fun. We are currently assessing the damage to the base. Let's we see what we got here. The aircraft carrier Albatross was da -da -da. We know the attacking bogies were from Arusia. Oh, you also get a uh, a little other replay here. That's really cool. Oh, bless. Reminds me of like Super Meat Boy, except not at all. The aircraft tree has been- oh my god, they grow these things on trees. <laughs> I was gonna say, they're skill trees? Next mission, sure, why not? Just keep them coming. Can, can we give our tree a pa I mean, uh, our, our plane a parry? God almighty. War on the Ocean Federation. As soon as the news broke out, enemy aircraft began bombing- Hmm, I wonder what these blue and red countries represent. Hmm. They sent tiny little baby planes, and we didn't like that, so we shot them out of the fucking sky. ...secretly transported to Osea in shipping containers and launched remotely. Lord have mercy. The Secretary of the Navy has stated that the enemy was targeting naval ports across the country. According to the Secretary, all of the nation's aircraft carriers... Blah blah blah, Metal Gear, blah 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 blah. Oh man, this is, yeah, this is very Metal Gear with its... Like, it loves the politics of it. It revels in it. Mm-hmm. Hold on. 
I've just There's no way Death Stranding won't eventually turn into something super like, oh, it's about the the, the third, army. you know, the but world war and President all that Harlan stuff. Mm-hmm. I guess we have to free the space elevator, huh? They took him to space, to Eggman's secret theme park in space. It just, the way they just casually drop space elevator makes me very happy. It's like, we're in a universe where the term space elevator is just, it's a thing, it's whatever, they're used to it. God, can you imagine what it would be like when you break the Earth's atmosphere and there's just fire all around you? It would be terrifying, but at the same time, better than some of the stuff here on Earth. <laughs> You're not wrong. You are not wrong. Stay tuned for further updates. I like, even, okay, if you pronounce that country's name, it's just saying Russia with a Japanese accent. <laughs> oh, come on now. Well, it's, it's like, it's right there. Erosion. Right? The Ocean Air Force fired missiles at the city and managed to shoot down a number of Erosion fighters. Some of the disabled planes then crashed into residential areas. Oopsie doopsie. No, the turtles! Oh god, it's Judgment Eyes. Twenty years ago, the They used this effect in the intro, that's the joke. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, no, I, I wouldn't know. Got hit. Hard. And we're still getting fucked by meteors and whatnot. They're just casually saying like, oh yeah, meteors, so what do we do? Go to space. They were desperate and started a war. One they had no hope of winning. Well, maybe they shouldn't have done that then, you know? That's the war my dad fought and died in. Okay, I'm sorry. The I was insensitive. I should have said that. <laughs> and the so-called righteous Oceans struck the deal that ended it. They fancied themselves the only Are we the, the baddies? <laughs> I don't ask it. They even tried saving the Usians, still suffering from the disaster. That's how a space elevator, stretching way up into the sky, ended up being built in Yuzha. Looks a bit like the Eiffel Tower in every time I see it. I was gonna say, uh... Harling said he did it out of compassion for his... I'm amazed that David Cage has had the restraint to not turn the Eiffel Tower into a space elevator in one of his oh games Oh my yet. god, he would do that in an instant. He would be like... <laughs> I am the final boss of my own game, David Cage. <laughs> you just go up the space elevator, and at the very top... You see him floating and glowing, and then the Yakuza style words appear Shin David Cage. <laughs> Neo Shin David Cage EX. God, can I just shoot something, please? Well, we are shooting. Shooting the shit, am I right? <laughs> hey! Oh my god. Missiles out of containers. Why do we even need planes at this point? Accuracy, they managed to take out everything that was military. It's a good thing they took out everything that was military and not the civilians. I mean, if we keep firing, eventually we'll hit something military. It's like, oh, it's a good thing. No civilians were hurt, only the military. It's a real shame that this country has mandatory enlistment, meaning everyone was military. Oh no! That's a bit of a pisser, really. Meow. <laughs> this is just someone there's someone at Namco Bandai between the Tekken and the Tales of series and all the anime who's just you look at their desk and there's like tons of model planes. Yeah. And you know, it's a you, they're just like, Hey, what's uh what's uh Tadayoshi up to? And he's like, Oh, he's making more planes. It's like I keep doing that, buddy. You keep you keep bringing some variety to our game company. You need to stop watching that Gundam Wind box set and get back to work, but it helps me. <laughs> it helps me with the politics of my game. <laughs> also, I'd just like to say I'm not making... I don't think it's a bad story or anything. I just have to kind of keep myself awake during the bits I don't find engaging. Oh yeah, no, this is... It's just political melodrama, which some people revel in. Some people love it. We actually gotta get like third person things? I doubt it. Like we gotta kick our way out of this place and get in a plane. Oh, can you imagine if it turns into just Tekken and it's like fight the guard? <laughs> we headed off down south for several days and then swung east. That's how I got here. Okay, backstory. Or present story, I wasn't really paying attention to the timeline. For a port, it was dull as hell. It had three rusty I like how there's not even models of it zoomed in, so they have to be zoomed up far away. <laughs> They're like, yeah, we're here, and now here's pictures of... Okay, is... I can't tell if this is real or in-game. 
Like, this it's is really crazy. The they use a lot of, like, still this shots, but the they frame them, like, in a very artistic way, I have to say. Yeah, like, I, I almost wonder, are- what?! And the runways weren't even paved, just painted on the dirt. Okay. Huh. We're just gonna ignore that, it's fine. Okay, strange reel. It almost looks like they film real locations and then put, like, the models on top of them. Yeah. But at the same time, it could for us- Could be all in-game. I can't tell. Can you believe that shit? So, I tried to escape. They found out. That's a bad thing. And set the dogs on me. Not the dogs! With little jetpacks on that will chase me in the plane! <laughs> oh my god! It, it, now it's truly dog fighting! Yeah. Can't let you do that, Protag. <laughs> yeah, it's like Fox. Actually, y y in the 3DS version of uh, of the Ace Combat, you can actually get our wings, and oh, it's, that's good. it's amazing. <sighs> yes, it's so good. See, okay, here's the thing: you have all these companies trying to make Star Fox games and not being able to do it. Why don't they? Oh, I was gonna say, why don't they get Namco Bandai to do it? And then I just realized that's what Assault was. Assault was fine, I guess. Yeah, but just get this team to make a Star Fox game. I don't know, they might make it too straight Like, so give it to the people who make Atlas. That's true, yeah. God, not the space elevator. How will we get our Mars cakes? I hope that the final mission will involve you just, like, flying vertically, like, along the space elevator, and just, like, spinning around it, sort of like the ending of Bayonetta. <sighs> God damn you, Tanner. It's cool, but it's not, not gonna happen in this game. Basically, I want everything to end like Bayonetta. Always. Yeah, that's awesome. I wanna run up the space elevator. And we only gotta run down it as Sonic. That makes me sad. No, while we're running up it, we see, like, Jean on the motorbike going up and Sonic <laughs> right? coming down. <laughs> Oh god! <laughs> just, and then you see uh, Mega Man X riding up it. You know, you get to see all of them. There is a high likelihood. It's the same. Yeah, we're gonna make the space elevator verse, where every game with a space elevator is connected, and they are all the same space elevator. Yeah, they're just on different sides of it. That's all it is. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a big elevator. Right, next, big. next, next, next. Yeah, cool. That's a. They're all in a straight line. Aircraft tray. Let's check this shit out. Let's be. Uh, the last submission I check out here, points are awarded. Okay. Duh, connected by lines. Okay. You got it. You cannot dispose of any aircraft. Tell that to the Canadian government. That's a big, deep political cut here that nobody will recognize. Especially not me. So there was an airplane that the Canadian government made, which was literally the best, fastest, most amazing plane ever. Like, it would revolutionize the military world. And they're like, okay, this is cool, we're gonna scrap it. And everyone's like, why are you scrapping it? And they're like, too powerful, can't have it. And now they're gone, and the blueprints are all destroyed. Hmm. A large carrier-based fighter, long-range anti-air missiles. Uh, what are you thinking, Turner? I like the name Super Tomcat. It makes me very happy. Because it sounds like a Super Nintendo game. I do not have enough whatever. What else can I buy? Hmm. Uh, can I buy that? I do not have enough. Yeah, you only have uh, 49 and that costs 65. Uh, you could unlock another um, super weapon. Those are the ones under it. Okay, bombs that home in on a locked target. Uh, that one's good for, for being under you. Air-to-air -air burst missiles. If they are about to be evaded, they would explode, even if it's not a direct hit. That sounds pretty good. Yeah. Let's get that. The Sassum. The Sassum. Uh, can we afford this as well? Yeah. Good stuff. XL Plus. Don't know what that is. This is really just a skill tree. Kind of is. It's a bit overwhelming, to me, honestly. Just get new action rudders. Alright, let's go back. I think we're good. Start mission. Make sure you equip those new things. Mm-hmm. Okay, we've only got the one plane so far. What do you fancy, mate? I think we'll give the Sassam a try. I don't like those bombs. They're for stuff under you, and, and how often are things under you in a plane? 
the joke is quite often, but... Do I have any upgrade parts? Let's have a look here. Uh, doesn't seem so, no. We just have our light blisk. I think that's our engine there, so that's alright. We should do good. Yeah. So the dogs were chasing me and then I got in a plane is what I took from there. Sure, unless we're someone else now, I don't know. Yeah, I guess we'll have to be. The cloud cover is broken. We can't use it anymore, Tanner. I like the name Operation Eastern Wind, because it's like, it's pretty odd. Again, I sure wonder what countries these represent. So we got how many allies? Uh, quite a few. That's good. Yeah. I guess that's why we're the mage squad and not the mage. <laughs> I'll try to avoid civilians. That's how war is. Just gotta deal with it. Oh, you can yaw with L1 and R1. Yay! I can level out. Cool. Ah, oh, we're dealing with grounded ones. Maybe those bombs would have been useful. Oh, Tanner, you sweet naive slut! Just wait till the planes start. I mean, the the the, the trucks here start flying. Whee! Yeah, I think there's some behind you. They should probably go grab. Because knowing our knowing our allies here, they probably won't be able to handle it very well. <laughs> oh yeah. So there is a series I saw on YouTube of getting like certain um, career people to play games based on what they like, what they are. Like getting a doctor to play all, you know, um, the the oh, what's that one called, the Doctor DS game? You know the one I'm talking about. So of yeah. Trauma Center, Trauma Center there. Um, so it's like I'd love to see getting an actual fighter jet person to try this and just to be like, this is not what you would do. Me, I'd go with the anti-air laser cannon personally. Booyah! Yeah, wow, we really are just fighting above a countryside of people. We are. If they get in my way, I'll blow them all up. They sure are chattering on the, uh, the radar. All I hear is blow things up, blow things up. Pretty much. Also, watch out for those power lines, because knowing a video game, they will be solid and not actually let you fly through them. Oh no. Now it is time to fly around and shoot some more things. Oh, there's a lot of them. There's one right by you, actually. Level out, level out. Ah, oh, you motherfucker. He's trying. Fox 2? What is that, an Echo Fighter? <laughs> <laughs> I laugh. I don't know what that means in military terms. I don't know any military terms. It's fine, mate. Don't worry about it. Go fit out the herd over here, I guess. My knowledge of the military pretty much comes down to what my uh, aunt tells me. She's in the military, and her name is Cammy. That makes Street Fighter very strange for me. Yep. No, that's an ally. That's what I want. Don't shoot, don't shoot him. Hey, Fox, what are you doing? Oh, well, they introduced clouds. This is ten times harder now. Because can you lock in, lock on through the clouds? Oh, there's a warning. Jesus, I missed. Somehow, maybe the 4 a.m. would have been better suited for this mission, Tanner. Potentially, you get those options select, so you get to replay these missions and try to do them more efficiently. How did I miss? Hmm. Maybe going through the clouds there, because then it would uh, disrupt the uh, the lock-on, probably. Possibly. For them, not for you, you know. You could also try the Sassim there, because if they're dodging it, uh, that would mean that it'll still blow up by them. Yeah, good point. Maybe that's what it wanted you to do, Tom. 
Well, considering it was an optional, an optional thing and not, you know, mandatory, it, it seems like another option, but not exactly what we needed. Yeah. Just makes our life easier, though. Gotcha. Yeah, there we go. Missiles have uh, diminished, diminished tracking. It's true for all aircraft. I'm coming for you. I see you. I've got my lock on. So, I obviously can't hear the audio, but this whole time, all I can think of is the music from Afterburner. Uh -huh. Which is a real good song. So good, they just threw it in Smash Bros. Why the hell not? The enemy's are We're done for. It's okay. I've got it. No one can defeat me in the sky. So someone just said, I'm icing up. Which, uh, means something for military, but makes me think they're making a nice cool drink. Aww. Bless. A nice iced tea, Canadian style. Booyah. Booyah. Take him out before they take off. Yeah. Faded out the herd. Alright, I'm very close to the ground right now. You know what? I'm very happy though this game doesn't have the thing of like, oh, if you have too many G's on your fighter, it just, you die. You know? The idea of, oh, you're turning too much? Guess you'll die. Blood's gone. Oh. You need to explode now. Oh. Missiles! Ah! It missed, I think. There, yeah, it did. Very nice. I did my time with Star Fox, would not stand me wrong. Spinning around it. Doubt. It's like all these missiles that we're missing with just fly into houses nearby. Ah! Uh. I don't know how I'm evading these, I really don't. I think if you just don't move in a straight line you should be pretty good at least on easy you probably have to do some some super advanced techniques for the later ones Ooh, gas tanks those are useful they are you know maybe having giant exposed gas tanks on your you know your uh, military base is a bad idea mm -hmm. maybe you should like put those underground or something oh no it's fine i got him <laughs> Woohoo! That was a bit spicy! That was a little close, because you kind of- you, you went under it and between the ground. Whew. That would be- that would be a replay moment to, like, record yourself at, like, ten angles from, and, like, make a Highway to the Danger Zone AMV off of it. <laughs> I'm not even going to attempt to try and get that high. So I'm just flying around, getting my bearings. There is a level of, like, hype to- this flying around and, yeah, and shooting absolutely. In airplanes like it's it's I'm just watching it and I'm feeling I'm feeling patriotic. Yeah, it's like I told you, mate. I want to join the military right now. I actually don't. Uh. I can barely throw away old stuffed animals. I don't think I could take a human life. <laughs> what an analogy, Jesus. All right. No, many left. Oh, are we done? Oh, Jesus. There were drones all along! What happened? Status report. Oh, no. <sighs> head office is gonna have my head for this. You're clear to engage. They're probably hostile. Probably hostile. Just wait, they might not be. Yeah, I got one. Just kidding, we're, we're, we're gonna kill them. Well spotted, clown. That's what I like to say to people's opinions on Twitter. I, okay, I saw the worst exchange on Twitter ever where someone called someone a clown and they're like, Try responding without using a meme next time, and someone said, Wait, do you actually think no one ever called someone a clown before before Twitter? Like, that's been around before the memes. Yeah, where do you think clowns came from? The ether. The hell. The clown verse. 
probably help to switch to your uh, close range radar here because they're just kind of all bunched up together. Yeah, I'm a silly goose. Are they below me? Hmm. No, they were above you there. Like way up high. Whoa. Yeah, they are. Holy shit. Sure. Ah. Who knew that all it took to uh, to get through these planes was smaller, faster planes? And hey, you're not even killing people for these ones, so it's all good. Yay! Not as fun, but I'll allow it. You gotta make sure you get that, that lock on there, because these guys are, are small and speedy. Sure are. Fuck. <sighs> well, I feel sorry for the people uh, who are getting hit by these things, but, you know, I'm trying to do a job here, so... <laughs> the good news is, they're statistically gonna always hit a turtle, not people. I mean, we're not doing our job, but at least the people are safe. Mm hmm. I'm coming for you. I'm locked on. Yeah. So I think icing up is literally when your plane gets covered in ice there, so you don't want to be in the in the clouds too long because it gives you essentially an airplane status ailment. Um, excuse me, I've seen the first Iron Man, okay? I know how this works. Okay, okay, that's true, but I just, I wanted to say the phrase aerial status ailment. It just, it makes me happy. Uh, turn around. Where you at, motherfucker? Just watch out to make sure your, your airplane doesn't get poisoned or paralyzed. Yeah. Now there's more. Fuck you. Oh no, not the countryside. No, the cows. <laughs> Balls, man. These things are pretty speedy. Yeah, they, they can zip and zoom. So it so a missile lock on is not a hundred percent guaranteed to be like a hit there. No, you got to be making sure you're you kind of have a straight line to them. No casualties. Ignore all of the other things that have exploded in the countryside. Yeah, I win. War is done forever. The skies are clear. Nice work, everyone. I did it. I wonder if they get to pick their code names. It's like, it's like you know, you got Knocker there. It's like because he knocks on wood before battle. Uh -huh. Got Brownie there because man, she loves brownies. And it's like, oh, you're Trigger because you like to you to pull the trigger, right? And you're like, no, it's because it's my favorite anime studio. And they call me Sheep Fucker. Uh, <laughs> why? Because I blew up half of Wales during this operation. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, okay, makes more sense. Whew! That was a rip roaring good time, and it's hard to believe I didn't kill anybody. So let's just go ahead and skip that. <laughs> yeah, let's. Let, you can zoom in on like the people's faces in despair as you're oh. blowing them up. <laughs> oh, silliness, foolishness, Dante, foolishness. As he goes by <laughs> in a katana-shaped airplane. <laughs> yep, we have officially spread our wings. So let's skip that. Um, not really sure how well I did that. Oh, a B. There we go. Yeah. That's, yeah, it's a B. B's a good, B's a pass. Sure is. Alright guys, I think that's where we're going to leave it for Ace Combat 7. I have officially dipped my toes in and spread my wings at the same time. So, uh, yeah, here's everyone who's currently pledged. Uh, what did you think of that, Tanner? That was way more fun than I expected, and I honestly feel like I want to fly a plane right now. <laughs> Do you think you'll pick up the, uh, the latest version of Microsoft uh, Flight Sim? No. I'll just buy five copies of Afterburner. <laughs> Glue them together, and you'll have Afterburner 5. Absolutely beautiful. Well, thank you, Daybos, for commissioning this. It is pretty fun. I'm not sure if I'll go back to it, but hey, if we ever need a stream game, this this might be fun. I'll try not to blow myself up every single mission and whatnot, but uh, yeah, plenty more quick looks to come, guys. We are working through the backlog. If you want your own TV com or quick look, go to patreon.com forward slash hellfire comms. Every penny helps to support the group, and in the case of like uh, quick looks, helps to actually play for the game as well, so it's a win-win. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time for another quick look or TV com, whichever. Goodbye. Ciao.